a moment, but first, let's see how art is bringing history to life. History is an endless story that has been told in many ways, from early oral traditions to written text and print and now even electronically. But through all its forms, its story has rarely been told more vividly than through art. In Lyons, New York, the members of Mural Mania understand this power. They decided to revitalize the town by telling its own history, from the Erie Canal to its local pharmacist, Mr. Dobbins. Mural Mania is the uh, preservation of history through community art. Seeing the imagery is so much more powerful than just uh, talking about it, that these things help us really uh, absorb it. And you can see people, how they not only, you know, we could talk about the history of the Dobbins and the pharmacy, but somehow when they look at the image and it takes them back, it's just so much more powerful. And it, it, uh, it really brings the community together. It'll teach them what the town used to be like and encourage them to be part of the arts or be part of the community and preserve the history through this town. They first noticed the power of seeing history through Mr. Dobbins' old postcards. And looking at Winston Dobbins' collection of probably 300 postcards was always inspiring to me. And it showed all these scenes. You can really see life happening from 100, 150 years ago, maybe 50 years ago. And by seeing this, I'm going, well, if we paint it, then we're going to preserve that history forever. This inspiration led to a mural honoring Mr. Dobbins, painted on the front of the building in which he worked. But we trying in this particular case to bring together historic elements, uh, things about each community, and also bring the architecture back into the building that was changed and redone. We re-brick it and put illusion again. We're artists, so we're always trying to create an image that's creative, uh, gives them uh, not only historic, but uh, fun stuff too, like the bubble gum machine. And do you know this is supposed to be your father? Yes. Ah, Noel Dobbins, when he was younger, so we put him in here too to get a piece of bubble gum. And again, in this particular case, it's the Dobbins family, which is three generations of pharmacists that are being uh, put into the, the painting to help, again, remind people of the history and, the, and what's going on in Lyons. There are now four murals being created in the town depicting life from years gone by, from the Erie Canal to the local pharmacy to the dentist's office in downtown. Okay, this is the main photograph I've been working on recently. Uh, it shows the old Lions Republican building, which, which was actually a newspaper uh, at the turn of the century. Um, and then you can see all the old architecture and the elements and all the old windows. I did the old trolley. Got that put in, just blocked in with color. Might make it, make it a little bit larger. Uh, you can see the schoolhouse here, the old uh, bell tower, and a uh, lion symbol from the distance, the church tower. Um, takes time to do, but it's worth it in the end. When finished, these murals will all rest in the original area that inspired each work of art. By doing that, we honor the past, such as this scene from the canal, and uh, we rejuvenate the future and sort of make things look better and make people want to come here, make this a more attractive place. Because Lyons has a lot to offer and people don't realize that. So when you spruce things up a little bit, you throw things like this in there, people really enjoy it. For Homework Hotline, I'm Tej Jenkins. <laughs>